So um, what I want to explain first off is a little bit about the spinal anatomy and how the spine works. So as you can see, the spine is a series of segments. At the top of your spine, this bit's called the cervical spine. There's seven segments here. Then you've got the thoracic spine, which starts at T1. And then you've got 12 segments here. And then the lumbar spine, which is the bottom five vertebrae. So you've got L5, L4, L3, L2, and L1. When people refer to low back pain, what they're really talking about is this region called the lumbar spine. But often patients can have, can sometimes have pain in their whole spine, their neck, their thoracic spine, and their lumbar spine. And back rack is really a solution to the whole spine, so it helps to treat the spine holistically. What we would do when you come in to see us is we would first of all do an assessment to make sure that the the type of problem you have is appropriate for back rack. The assessment would take about an hour and it would enable us then to ask you some questions, examine you. We do a whole series of screening tests to be really clear about what your diagnosis is. It also helps if you've had MRIs or x-rays. If, if you've got any extra information that would be really useful to have because that will help us um, firm up the diagnosis. And essentially what the back rack does is these, the, the mechanism is unique. What happens is as you lie on the back rack, each of these segments will decompress the spine. So very often the problem is that the joints that are either side of the spine here, they're called the facet joints, those joints can get very stiff and arthritic and they can be a source of pain. Also, um, a common, quite a common pathology is, is a disc pathology. And basically the discs sit between the vertebrae and what they do is they absorb shock. They're like little shock absorbers between each of the segments of the spine. And as you age, what actually happens is those discs from being nice and plump, just sort of narrow and compress. That creates more compression forces on the facet joints here and that ends up causing you pain locally sometimes centrally or it can be one side of the spine and often pain coming from this area will send pain down into your buttocks and into your legs so that the pathology what's really wrong is normally related to those type of uh, scenarios and usually it's the compression of the spine the, the, uh, that makes the problem worse. What I'm going to show you briefly is the, the complexity of the muscles around the spine. 